It's Walden, I tell you! Don't be thick, Braun! Everyone knows Odin leads the wild hunt. Eivor! Who leads the wild hunt? Odin? Why? I was explaining to him the way of Oscar Ape. This one wants to turn it into a pageant. Not a pageant, a parade. I was thinking some of us could dress up like gods from both lands. Maybe you could lead it, Eivor. Oscorea isn't a celebration. It's when the veil between the worlds grows thin and the dead will haunt us if we don't honor them. True. And they say the gods come to Midgard to hunt. Not just beasts, but men also. It wouldn't be wise to draw their attention. You are wise to be wary of the gods' wrath, Dame. <laughs> but it's not by hiding that you'll evade the wild hunt. I told you not to pester the locals, uncle. Have you been in the herbs again? Don't patronize me, you little shit. And you will call me Brother Maxwell like everyone else. No one calls you that. I've seen you around planting your smoking pots everywhere. The whole village smells like a seer's hut. Those pots are placed where the fabric of the veil is weakest, letting us perceive unseen threats before they are upon us. I'm sorry, Eivor. He shows up like this without warning. I told him he could stay with me while he's here. You're right to offer hospitality. And we should mark the Wild Hunt in some way. It's a source of fear for people of both fates. And how do you think we should mark Oscorea, Eivor? With tests of skill and strength. Like Tira's archery range. Show the hunt, they'll find no easy prey here. Swinta is setting up another event since her last tournament was so successful. Good. Tell her we'll use it. Not to celebrate, but to prepare for the wild hunt. Tell her yourself. You're the one leading this preparation. Me? I didn't... And be sure to visit Goodman's homage to the dead. Or didn't you notice the ship in the middle of the settlement? I noticed the ship. Good. May Odin's wisdom guide you. So no parade. I have a better job for you, Ron. You'll be the judge of whose actions will impress the gods. You'll be the keeper of the tokens. I will be the best judge you have ever seen, Eivor. Go see Norvid about the tokens. Tell him I sent you, and I'll come find you later. My herbs let us see the invisible. But it's you, as leader, who must cross the veil and discover the mysteries of the Nether Realm. I never said I was leading. Maybe I should have let Braun have his parade. Good day to you, Alwyn. Ah, oh, good day, Eivor. I hear you've taken charge of the Fall Festival. <laughs> I look forward to, uh... What do you call it again? Oscarea. And I wouldn't say I'm in charge. I just talk to people. <laughs> oh, don't be so modest. I'm sure you're playing a greater role than you realize. And, by the way, you'll want to keep a close eye on Braun's uncle. He's been... Leaving flaming pots everywhere. I know. He's a strange one. He may even be mad, but I don't think there's evil in his heart. Oh, I, I'm not suggesting any malicious intent, but Braun did mention he once burnt down a church. <laughs> Accidentally, of course. Oh. And a short while ago, I saw him heading towards the edge of the forest with an armload of kindling. He'll set the forest ablaze. Where can I find him? Follow the smoke.
Ivor, good to see you. Some of our people are anxious about the wild hunt. I want to raise their courage through contests of skill and bravery. I have the very thing. I want to recreate the chaos of battle. Our warriors will fight within the fog of war. You mean the smoke? Did a monk bring those braziers? Yes. He said something about a veil I did not understand, but I find they add to the experience in surprising ways. How do you mean? I don't want to spoil it for you. Besides, it affects everyone differently. Would you like to give it a try? I'll give it a try. I thought I had them. They were too strong. At least you put up a fight. Take some tokens for your effort.
Tira, we need an archery challenge to test our skills. This range tests a hunter's sense to know when to shoot and when not to shoot. When does a hunter not shoot? Imagine we're hunting together. You step on a branch and I shoot without thinking. What do you think happens? Uh, I take your point. In this contest, archers score points for hitting the right targets and lose points for hitting the wrong ones. Seems straightforward. There's also a time limit to make it more challenging. You want to give it a shot? Hand me a bow. Start on my mark! Begin! No shame in that score. Go claim your reward. Care to let some arrows fly? Hand me a bow. Unless you're ready. Shoot 
only true targets. Your aim needs work, but that's worth a few tokens. Greetings. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Spirna, has pledged her blade to us. She is a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. Eivor, a word of note. Someone has set up shop outside. A trader, I believe. When you can, ask him his business here. He seems to represent a larger guild. The child's eyes, or the eyeless children? Eyeless children? No, that cannot be right. Ask him yourself. Day. A new customer. Whether I am or not, I am the one you'll speak with. Randry tells me you are merchants. Ah, hello, hello! Are you the leader of this bustling encampment? We come on behalf of a thousand eyes, vendors of uncommon goods and exotic treasures from all corners of the world. If you need it, we have it. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Such is our pledge. I see. And is this child with you? Child? Child. My friend, you look upon the master of the thousand eyes, the head of our guild, a legend, a hero of the people, and the richest merchant west of the Indus. You look upon Redda. He means... you? He does, Eivor Wolfkist. It is a pleasure to meet you at last. How have you come to know me? The Thousand Eyes have one thousand years as well, and word travels fast. And what is it I can do for you, or you for me? It's quite simple. For a fee, I can connect you to a shadow market that stretches from the dunes of Egypt to the moors of England. What sort of fee? It varies with the item, but there is a small hitch. Through this market, all prices are paid, 
in Opal. Interesting. What a strange color it has. May I hold it? You may hold it and keep it, Eivor. A gift from Reda for your immeasurable hospitality. Now look here. Browse what wares I have on offer. Excellent choice, and a lucky one too, for nothing in stock lingers very long. My selection changes daily. Now that you are friends with me, you are also a friend of the Thousand Eyes as well. And what does this mean? Observe my outfit, note the scarf I wear. As you travel, you will meet many of my associates clad in these same vestments. These are my people, my other eyes. Seek them out for trade or contracts. Oblige them, and you will earn a tidy sum. And I might even feel inclined to reward you myself. An interesting offer. Good to hear. Now, if you will excuse us, my apprentice has a tent to secure. You're staying for a while, I suppose. Oh, yes, and you needn't even thank me. We would be honored to call this our home. Good day. I'm off. Be well, friend.
Hello, Arky. I didn't know you were fond of horses. I'd rather deal with a horse than an ass. I'm not here to trade barbs, Arky. I've come to see what you're preparing. A challenge, Eivor. A true test of equestrian skill. There will be barriers to break, targets to hit, and a time limit. I thought you said it would be a challenge. <laughs> it will require equal measures of skill, speed, and control. You think you have what it takes? Give me a moment to mount. Why so quiet, Aki? Where's the lash of your wit now? I am silenced by your show of skill. You may claim the full prize.
Hello, Swinda. Welcome back, Eivor. Do you want to fight? I'll give it a try. Brothers, let's end this!
I thought I had them, but they were too strong. At least you put up a fight. Take some tokens for your effort. With this, we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the... Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. Never heard tell of any river champion. Not sure what to make of that. But you're welcome to ask Eivor. Suniva, and stranger, what brings you to our shores? Vaughn and his crew claim to be raiders of great treasures. They seek to join with Ravenstone. If you wish to join us, we only ask for hard work and loyalty. No need of silver or gold. Wouldn't say no to it, either. It is good to meet you, Eivor. And there is more in this for you than precious metals. We may seem weary and ragged, but we know secret routes of England's coasts. 
where you will find a wealth of resources for Ravensthorpe. You seek to share them with us. Why? When the table is laden with too great a feast, you gather friends round to enjoy. We seek friends and feasting. Let me show you. I will take you out on a raid, once we repair our ship. I appreciate the offer, and accept it. And how do you judge our dock? Ah, now that's a dock worthy of our longship. Come and talk to me whenever you are ready to leave. 